Hello and welcome to The Holistic Way. My name is Todd Hart. I'm the host of the show. The sounds that you're hearing are sacred sound healers, Joy and A. Michelle. Welcome to the show. Hey, thank you for having us. It's great to be here, Todd. That was a fantastic opening. I love that. Yeah, isn't it fun? It is a lot <laughs> of fun. So explain to me, and why don't you introduce yourselves first and we'll, we'll talk after that. Okay. I'm Joy Quinn Bloom. Um, I'm a gong master Joy or sometimes known as the Gong Lady. Um, and uh, Gongs of Joy is our, the name of our duo. And we play at various uh, yoga studios and some churches and places around Rhode Island, mostly around Rhode Island in different locations. Okay, hey Michelle. Uh, yes, um, my formal formal title title is drum singer, A. Michelle. Mm -hmm. And because we do incorporate vocals as well as the flutes and the drums, and um, I've been with Joy. We're coming up on our two-year anniversary. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. So we've both <laughs> been doing sound for about a little bit over 10 years, right? Right. And, um, and I came into this with, um, without a gong. And that's what Joy wanted, the drums. And she wanted the different mm -hmm. modalities. And then when I got into the gong field, I went, oh, well, I have to have some, too. <laughs> <laughs> so now Was we have Was there gong a, envy going on? <laughs> yes, you get gong exactly. envy. Yes. Exactly. Plus, it's the joy. I mean, you're like, oh, can I do that, too? And, like, you know, I, I believe, uh, you know, it, you do get that glimpse of the possibilities, and then you want to, like, chase it down down the road, like, well, right. what if we had this sound, and what if we had that one, and oh, what we could do if we had an even bigger one. However, you might notice that most of our instruments, nothing's over 32 inches in diameter. Mm -hmm. It's because we're limited a little bit by how much we can actually hold. <laughs> you have to be strong. Right. right. They're very heavy. I they mean, heavy. the equipment you have is very heavy. About 35 heavy. pounds a piece. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then when you, you try to break it up into chunks, but you can, I can overdo it. Right. I definitely can overdo it. And then I have to, you know, take painkillers. And <laughs> <laughs> so how do you get into sound healing? Do you have a music background that kind of got you into this? Or how did that, how did it all happen? Uh, for me, it was just a fluke. Um, I had, um, I was at a transition point in my life about 13 years ago and um, hadn't been to All That Matters in Wakefield, the yoga center and health center in Wakefield, Rhode Island. And I looked at the catalog and I saw, hmm, Gong Master Don Conroe coming to teach a weekend workshop on gonging. Hmm. I knew nothing about gonging. I'm not a musician. It just appealed to me. Little did I know. Wow. Uh, and then he came... Um, about twice a year, it did, did a weekend training with us, and out of the group that was in the class, four mm -hmm. of us emerged, and we formed an ensemble called Resonant Voices of the Spheres. And we played together for about five years at all the various places that I just mentioned, mm -hmm. kinds of places. So what was it that attracted you to the gongs? Um, it, it was just an intuitive thing. I just was, this is something totally different than I've ever done. Mm -hmm. And um, sound healing, healing, and I had been doing healing work, and psych I'm a psychotherapist. Oh, okay. And um, so I just felt this might be an interesting adjunct to what I had been doing, S more standard talk therapy to get into, because I'm very interested in body, mind, spirit, and getting the body involved in sure. counseling and, and healing. Do and, you incorporate uh, them both now in your therapy? I do. I do use it all. I use it in the whole bag of tricks that I have. <laughs> that is pretty cool. I love yeah. that. How about yourself, here, Michelle? Um, I also came to about the same amount of time, you know, it was about 2002, I had a, a profound change. I needed a change. Mm -hmm. And so um, I released some stuff. And mm -hmm. then in releasing, then there's a, a void that opens up and you say, all right, well, what am I going to do now when now that I'm not doing that? Mm -hmm. And, you know, presumably, I mean, I, I was... I was seeking um, um, a purification, mm -hmm. let's just say that, and I wasn't interested in talking at that point, so I started with drumming. <laughs> and it's amazing, the community that gets built in a drum circle, you really feel like I am stronger with my, my peers. You get this mm -hmm. self-confidence, you get, um, and plus you get, you get entrainment, you get like vibrational healing. Mm -hmm. And um, I really, really liked it. And I'd always been a singer. So um, I sought, you know, ways to, 
to um, build it all together. So the drumming was your healing? Mm hmm And I mm. thought, well, gee, it's, and it's very, and in a drum circle. And one of the things that I like about this, and you said, do you have a background in music? I am not a professionally trained musician. I did mm -hmm. sing throughout, um, you know, I've sung throughout my life in, in performances and things, but not a trained, you know, and, and neither was Bessie Smith. Hmm. You know, there have been quite a few vocalists who didn't yeah, know yeah. modalities and key changes and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I love drums. I love this sound stuff because it's very um, uh, egalitarian. You know, and, and we can even we can even demonstrate this right now. I mean, because you don't That's need skills. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. We're going to check this out. So a couple of more questions I have for you. When, when you're talking about sound healing, is it, because I love music. To me, music is healing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just, it takes you to another place, uh, depending on the mood you're in. I mean, it just, it's very healing for me. I love music. It's a big part of my life. Mm -hmm. um, I've always asked, would you, you know, if you had to give up your sight, or your hearing, which would it be? And I think I would give up my sight because I don't know if I would, could live without music. Mm -hmm. That's how important it is to me. Mm -hmm. um, listening to it, I don't play music. Right. I've tried, I've failed at it, but I just love to listen to music because it yeah. really does move you. So is it the is it the music itself? Is it because when Sean was here with the vibrational bowl, the bowls, the singing bowls, is it the vibration? Is it a combination of the two? Is it emotional? I mean, what's happening with with sound healing? Um, music. Uh, well, with music, I think if, if there are words or if there's melody, now jazz may be a little bit of a different ki kind, mm. uh, but you're, it's something you, you may be following it, so you're using your left brain a little bit when mm -hmm. you listen to music or you're singing or you listen to words, you, have, you use words. Um, I think vibrational healing with all the instruments is, uh, helps you get more, lose that thought, focus on thought process and get more into um, the very center of your being, mm -hmm. so that it is about vibration. Everything is vibration. Everything on the planet is vibrating. Right. A rock, rocks are vibrating. The right. table's vibrating. The chairs we're sitting on, all the molecules and everything mm -hmm. are vibrating. So vibration is the key to life itself, to creation and to life itself. Right. Uh, I want to throw a little bit of a left brain scientific um, thing in here. Um, and... Uh, if you, if you look up sound healing, like say you go to Wikipedia, I had heard in a, in a lecture um, something about cells puffing nitrous oxide in reaction to certain, in, to sound. Mm -hmm. And I was like, and, and Joy thinks this is absolute hoobadoo. I put <gasps> it, I know. This, no, I don't. Okay, good. Because I did that, some of that, that documentation I mm -hmm. brought, it's like, see, see. There is because the um, the ear, the inner ear, is mm -hmm. so close to the 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 brain and the limbic systems. Mm -hmm. Sounds actually trigger um, uh, responses in the endocrine system. S oh, they fascinating. do. Fascinating. Yes. Wow. The, that makes so, sense. Yes. Yeah, so the cells. So you know, there's a sound, and the cell goes poof, and and it you know emits nitrous oxide, and nitrous oxide triggers. Um, vasodilation so the the vessels and stuff get wider mm -hmm. and you know what causes heart attacks is when you're you mm -hmm. know everything constricts mm -hmm. so you so you're feeling more relaxed you're getting more blood flow there's also autoimmune responses which are triggered i mean this whole chain of things that starts happening from a sound wow let's make some sounds Excellent. So we have, I'm, I'm very, it's, it's probably the, the Catholic in me. <laughs> I'm very attracted yes, go to ahead. these. So what go are ahead. these? What are these? Those are called uh, oh, Tibetan bells. I love that sound. I'm going to pass it over to you because you probably make prettier sounds than I do with, <laughs> with these things. Well, remember the part where I said you don't have to have um, any training. <laughs> these are, are traditionally used in meditation. We, um, it has the sacred symbols of Buddhism on it. Um, the way joy... And her gong master Don Conroe uses it as they take this, the clapper out, and they ring it. So I um, wondered if I could get it. Well, I don't we think we have a ringer out. with with mm. me. But could you hit it with the little lollipop the looking lollipop. thing? <laughs> well, um, okay, I can try. try I don't. I've never tried it with a lollipop. That's very soft. Very yeah. very soft. So these. 
Oh, I wonder uh, if it'll ring like this. They're like the Tibetan singing bowls. They will, the they will ring. You know, like the crystals? Thinking. That's what I was thinking. So yeah, they're like just Shonda. tuned. Like, I picked them so that they were tuned in different ways. And in, I was taught in sound healing is you can use them as a diagnostic tool. Mm -hmm. um, because, like, you, you'll ring them. And sometimes uh, the, the sound will change. If you don't get a pure tone, you'll get like a in there that will indicate that there's an obstruction in the in the body. Uh, really? Yes. Uh, let's wow. try. Go for the bigger bells. Okay. That is a yak bell. You just you just swing it. Okay, and we then no, go sound. ahead. Keep Love that one and I'll use the it. other one too. Wanting to evoke sounds in the fog, you can do that. You can just do little tiny things. This is really cool. These come in all different sizes. We have others in various sizes. These are and not tones. expensive. They what are. What is this made out of? It's um, it's uh. Is it copper or something? Copper or tin. tin. It's actually yeah. a lot. Like it's just it's a, a cheaper, a cheaper version of what goes into these seven to twenty-one metals, and they're hand forged. Most of our instruments huh. are handmade. I love how it just echoes. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. I mean, I've, I'm, I'm into yoga, so every once in a while I'll bring stuff out in yoga, and, and you just sit and you can hear it just go on mm -hmm. and on. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The it's best really the cool. best bowls will ring like that. The tinkshaws, I think you may have um, seen before. I'm going to hand those to you. Why don't you I'll, demonstrate I'll, them? I'll hurt myself with those. <laughs> <laughs> just the tinkshaws <laughs> usually signal a beginning or an ending, uh, a transition piece. These can I also be sometimes. used mm -hmm. diagnostically. That's really cool. And they're, they're ring these also have the symbols of, um, the eight symbols of Buddhism on them. Mm -hmm. And um, so they are made of seven to 21 metals again. So what's the tie to Buddhism with, with these? Um, well, the singing bowls were developed to assist in meditational practice. Um, and I have talked to, um, they come out of they come out of the east, and um, the fire cults, which were which is actually the Dalai Lama comes from one of the Buddhist fire cults. The um, I want to call them the Do cults. Mm -hmm. They're they were used, you know, these instruments were used to further meditation, to contemplate, to I mean, you can have your um, question: When does it really stop ringing? Right. 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 And, and in this, we have, this is the female. This, you know, you, can't, you have the female, and then there's a, something else called the lightning bolt and the dorji, and you hold, it looks like this, but double-ended, and you mm -hmm. hold them one in each hand, and you, you know, in the, in the practice of Buddhism, their sound is used quite a lot to scare away um, demons, to, sanct to sanctify a state, uh, a sacred space. What do you think? Well, don't the Japanese do that as well with paper, right? When they get a new car or something. I remember seeing someone got a new car and they had this paper and it was going shh and they were going around the car almost like you were smudging it uh -huh. to scare away the demons, which I, I was always fascinated by that. I was so attracted to that. It was really cool. Well, oh, go ahead. I'll again, answer it's the, the vibration it, that does many things. Like smudging is a different kind of vibration, mm. but using sound. It moves, it, it can clear the, we all have meridians in sure. Chinese medicine, and it can get blockages, and um, it helps to, to break those things up and move them out. They, they've even, there have even been studies that, where they've broken up tumors with sound. Wow. My thought is that, you know, the, in the Far East, met, metal smithing was developed before it was developed here. And so a lot of the metallophones, the metal instruments they make sound, came from the East. And since the predominant religion is Buddhism, mm -hmm. that's, you know, sort of by default. Mm. Really, really cool. Yeah. Now, I, as you're playing that, and we're talking about the sound, when does it end, I'm almost thinking that you're, you're going on a journey with that sound. Like yes. that sound's pulling you along. Yes. And it's yeah. just your... That's what I meant about kind of trying to... It helps people get out of the left brain. We, we, when they lay down on the floor, when we play a gong bath, they lay down on the floor. And um, I usually do a relaxation, head to foot clearing relaxation mm -hmm. exercise in the beginning. And um, 
people then can begin to let go of the, the frustrations, the challenges, the upsets of the day or the week or whatever, and, uh, and literally go on a journey. Mm -hmm. People sometimes see colors, they um, see images, um, they get messages, um, and we often, then we, after the sound stops, we let quiet the silence for a while mm -hmm. so that they can begin to gradually come back. I actually took my daughter to your mm -hmm. sound healing. You weren't mm -hmm. there, um, but it's Sean and, and uh, Kimberly were there. Right. And it was at Providence Power Yoga. Um, my daughter's 17, and she loved it. And the next day, she told all of her friends about it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of her friends said, if you guys do it again, can we please come with you? Mm -hmm. Which oh. I thought is fascinating yeah. that teenagers. Oh, uh, yeah. Because usually you think teenagers are rebellious and like, ah, you know, but they are fascinated by it. She loved yeah. it. Yeah. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Didn't want to come out, didn't want to ground herself afterwards. <laughs> She's like, no, I just want to stay floating. I love sure. this. Sure, yeah. Um, but it, something changed inside her. My grandmother came to me during this whole thing. You just mentioned yeah. people come. Yeah. She actually came to me. Because yeah. um, I'm big now in the whole, we talked about this, the essential oils. And my grandmother was a healer. She used to make her own little tinctures and medicines. And she sort of floated in and, <laughs> you know, was saying some things to me. It was very wild. It was very cool. Uh, and then when I went to work with Kimberly, Testa, who's been on the show, yep. she came in again, my grandmother, so I'm yep. like, and she's sort of watching over me on my journey, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but it's just fascinating. Um, before we run out of time, what is your website? Because I want to make sure that people can find you. Our website is gongsofjoy.com. So very and simple. And all our information is on there, emails, okay. our phone number, et cetera. And you do group events, right? We do. Group. And you do individual events yep. as well if people wanted to have yep. you one-on-one -on -one for yep. any kind of healing. Yeah, we do um, healing. And you can yep. do that as well. My okay. favorite stuff to do, we did this last uh, Friday night at Wiggle Kids in Swansea, is we did a oh, awesome. hands-on and then, you know, where people mm -hmm. got to play and then we gave, taught them some basics of of how to experience sound and, right. and use it gently with intent to each other. And then and then we had a full out gong bath afterwards. So for me, empowering people to heal is, you know, for all of us, I think, because we, we want to give people the tools mm -hmm. to, to, to go forward in their own journey. Because what they say, you know, if you give a man a fish, he eats mm -hmm. one meal. But mm -hmm. if you give him a fishing rod, then he can keep himself and his family fed. Absolutely. Yeah, and we talk about how we carry a gong around with us, which is our vocal sure. cords, our voice box. Oh, I like that. And we do friends. some chanting and have people hum so that they get the idea. There again, they can do work for themselves. Mm. Uh, just with their own voice, with the vibration again, That's really which cool. helps to massage all the uh, internal organs when we hum and sing. I love that. So gongsofjoy.com. Yep. Correct. And you'll have a list of upcoming events. Yep. We yep. have an events page that Joy that does a beautiful job with. We're also on Facebook, mm -hmm. which if you if mm -hmm. you enter Gongs of Joy in the um, search box, search you'll find box that. Will come up and they can like your page and yep. get and updates. And we also advertise in Natural Awakenings right. magazine. Oh, nice. Woo, yes. Give them a plug. Yes. Awesome. Yes. awesome. And our calendar, in the calendar listings, we have our events in, that, in the magazine every month. And I do encourage people to go to one of your sound healing events because it really is cool. Thank you. Like you have no idea what you're walking into. We're like, what is this? This is kind of crazy. But but once you're in it, you're like, oh my god, I love this. Yeah, we get a lot of and first timers you, at each one. And you just and always you float amazed. away. Your all your troubles float away, and mm -hmm. you almost feel like you're like levitating, <laughs> like you're just <laughs> floating away. It's really cool. And it's wonderful working with Sean and with Kim while she's doing the healing while we play. Yeah. That's really a very powerful. You path. have a great powerful group there of people mm -hmm. that have come together. It's mm -hmm. pretty cool. I like it. It is wonderful. Yeah. Um, I just want to say real quick, the email for the show is theholisticway at hotmail.com. If you have any questions for our guests, if you have a question for me, if you have any thoughts about the show or you want to us to cover future subjects, just reach out. Again, theholisticway at hotmail.com. It should be on the screen. Uh, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to have a gong bath. So we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Welcome back to The Holistic Way. My name is Todd Hart, and we're going to now have a gong bath. I just want to say this has been the funnest behind-the-scenes show I've ever had. Uh, you two are a lot of fun. Um, so why don't you go ahead and take it over for uh, a gong bath. Okay. We invite everyone at home to just um, 
relax. You might want to close your eyes. Uh, we call this a gong bath because uh, it's being immersed in sound as you might be immersed in water in a bath. And so you might want to set an intention for these next couple of minutes as you listen to the sound. Maybe release something that no longer serves you and bring in something new and creative and manifest something very positive. And so we invite you now to just sit back, relax, and listen. been the holistic way. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy. Joy and Michelle, thank you for coming on the show. And can you play us out? Our pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you, Todd. Thank you, Todd. Thank you, ladies.